back to our little space game. Uh, so far we've been doing some good work getting our objects on the screen, being able to do some movement, uh, incorporating some shooting. Uh, but basically at this point we actually don't have any real interaction between anything on the screen. So shooting a bad guy or colliding with them doesn't actually do anything at all. So in this video we're going to start our first true bit of interaction between two different objects within the game. And we're going to start that one with our shooting, actually colliding or hitting an enemy, and actually making that do something. Okay, so to get started, let's uh, close this off, and we'll start by going into our enemy object. Now, what we need to do is create an event that talks about the collision between two different objects. So if we have a look in the events list, you'll see that there is in fact uh, an event called collision. And when we choose that, we get a list of all the other objects that we could possibly collide with. Um, notice that the object that we are is also in the list. You can actually talk about one instance of an object colliding with another instance of the same object. Uh, but for the moment, what we're gonna do is say that we are the enemy ship um, and we are going to collide with a bullet. So we're gonna choose that option. And you can see here, we've got the collision symbol and we're colliding with the bullet. So like anything else, we then can react to that event and we can have some code that works here. We could do this in the bullet. We could go into the bullet and say, when the bullet collides with the enemy ship, um, I personally just prefer it this way with the, the ship being where uh, knows how to deal with the bullet. Um, there's pros and cons both ways and it depends on lots of things later on really. But for now, let's just stick with this option. All right, so essentially what we want to happen at this point is when the bullet and the ship collide with each other, so when they touch, um, we want to basically get rid of both of them. So we want the bullet to disappear because it's basically been used up and we want the ship to disappear because it's been destroyed. And we do that simply by running the instance destroy that we've seen earlier. Uh, there is a little catch with this first, and that is if we destroy ourselves, being the ship, as soon as we destroy ourselves, then we're not going to run anything else, and that would mean we'd, we wouldn't be able to destroy the bullet. So we have to just be careful of the order that we do this. So we're going to destroy the other things, and then finally we'll, we'll finish up by destroying ourselves, ourselves being the object enemy. So what we do is in a collision event, we've actually got a very special um, variable that gets created and it's called other. Okay, just like that. And it's created and it represents the other part of the collision. So remember, we are the object enemy and we are colliding with the other thing. And the other thing in this case is an object bullet. So we can use this special word other in our commands. So what we're going to do is we're going to go instance destroy, just like we've done before. And remember, in the past, we just did brackets, and that destroyed ourselves, basically. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to include in here uh, essentially the name of what we want to destroy, and we're just going to put the word other. So it's basically saying destroy the other instance, the one that we are not as part of this collision. All right, so let's just see if that works. Okay, so we're gonna run that. And what we should now see is when our bullet hits a bad guy ship, the bullet should disappear. At the moment, it just floats through them. Uh, but what we hope to see now is when it hits a ship, and of course I have to be able to get to one first, it should disappear, and it did. Let's just try for another one. All right, so you can see that these bullets, when they hit the ships, are disappearing. It's a little bit hard to see because my ship's a little slow, but here we go, there's a good one. Yep, so it disappeared when it hit it. Okay, so that's working. Now what we want to do is the next line of code is the just the instance destroy again, and without anything in the quotes, and that, sorry, not the bracket, sorry. And that now says to destroy ourselves 
because we don't have anything in there. So now when we run our game, we should see not only the bullet disappear, but the ship that it hits. There we go, so it just disappeared on us. And another one. So we've now got an interaction where our ship shoots a bullet and hopefully we hit a, ship, a bad guy ship. Of course, there's none coming out where I want. Here we go. And when it does hit, it disappears. So we've got our first true interaction. We can basically destroy the enemies. That's pretty good so far. The next interaction we want to have is if the enemy ship collides with our ship. So if we basically ram an enemy ship, we want to also uh, die, basically. This may lead later on to things like lives and, and so forth. But for now, let's just do another collision. And we're going to say if we collide with an enemy object, sorry, if we are the enemy object, so I remember that. If we collide with the player, what do we want to do? So very much like before, we're going to first of all, okay, collide, sorry, instance destroy with the with the other. The other in this case is the player ship. And then we're going to instance destroy nothing in the brackets, which is going to destroy ourself. Ourself is being the enemy. All right. So let's have a little look at that working now. So if I shoot some bad guy ships, are you going to get any? There we go. They're still shooting those. But now if I collide with the ship, there we go. We both disappeared. Of course, I hope you can see the problem at the moment. We don't have a player anymore, but the game's going on without us. Uh, so that's not a great ending, but technically the collision works, and that is what we were intending to happen at this point. So let's close that and have a look at one more special event in this particular video, um, and that is the event called Destroy. So again, up the top here, we've got a Create event, and we've also got a Destroy event. And a destroy event gets triggered or happens when something like an instance destroy command happens. And it basically lets you do some things essentially like cleaning up after the, the object. So we have the create to sort of set things up and we have the destroy to almost clean up. So what I want to do is I'm not going to do this in the object enemy. I'm going to go back to my player object now and I'm going to say, let's have a destroy event. So when this player gets destroyed, which at this point only happens when we collide with an enemy ship, I want to do something. And at this point, what I'm going to do is simply restart the game. All right, and there is a, a command called game restart, uh, which essentially just restarts the game as if you closed and opened it again, okay? So now what we should have is our player gets destroyed. That means it comes into here, runs this destroy event, and the event says, hey, restart the whole game. And so basically we go back to the beginning. Again, it's uh, going to happen so quickly that we're not really going to notice the player getting destroyed and starting again, but it looked like we suddenly just jumped back to our starting position and everything is normal. So let's uh, make sure we're in a spot where that will be obvious. So we're about to get hit. And you can see everything shuttered and went back to the starting point. Okay, so we actually have the, the game restarting. So we now have, I guess, in theory, a working game. We have a player that we can move and do something with. We are able to shoot or otherwise interact with our environment. We're able to destroy the bad guys and they are also able to destroy us. Now there's lots of things missing and certainly a lot of things that we can do better. Um, we're not done with this yet. We are going to come back. We, uh, we need to do a few things to, to at least tidy up a bit. Uh, one of those is we're going to add a little bit of animation to our characters. Another one will probably be adding some sound in. Uh, third one, we definitely need to add a little bit of a start menu so we can restart the game a bit more efficiently. 
Um, and probably the biggest one is we need to in, at least invest in putting some score system into it. Because at the moment, we have no way of knowing how many bad guys we've shot or how long we've been alive or any of those sorts of things. Um, and without that, it kind of defeats the purpose of even being able to kill the bad guys. So that sort of gives you an idea of what's still to come. Um, I think that's probably going to be about another three or four videos worth. Um, but yeah, that's sort of where we are. So if you've gotten to this stage, you're doing pretty well. As I said, we do have, in theory, a working game, uh, albeit one that needs a lot of work still. So thanks very much for, for following along so far. Um, if you've got any questions, as always, let me know. Uh, but otherwise, uh, we'll see you in the next video.